Hello, everybody. Welcome to my Wiley Solution video walkthrough. Uh, this is accounting tools for business decision making. This is the eighth edition, problem 17-2. Uh, the textbook authors of this book are Paul Kimmel, Jerry Weingant, and Jill Mitchell. The question used in this presentation is copyright 2022 by John Wiley and Sons. Wiley, all rights are reserved. This is for educational purposes only. The video may not be distributed or redistributed without the express permission of Wiley. The solution presentation is copyright 2022 by Bennett Tchaikovsky. All rights are reserved. The opinions contained within this presentation are mine. Bennett Tchaikovsky and not the authors of the textbook or of Wiley. Let's go ahead and look at this one. And I'll kind of say before we thank the bus driver, let's go through and uh, see you over here. Okay, so right over here, We've got Schultz uh, manufactures two ultra high definition television models, the Royale, which sells for 1600 and the new model, the Majestic, which sells for 1300. Sounds like old movie theaters. The production cost computed per unit under traditional costing for each model was as follows. So we know that are gonna be our sales price for the Royale. The Royale is 1600 and then for the Majestic, it is going to be 1300 My cost, direct materials, direct labor. Okay, so then my total cost over here. Okay, so my gross profit is going to be right over here at 552 and then this is going to be at 590. So this is the traditional costing route we're using. It's just using one cost driver. Uh, they're coming up here with manufacturing overhead, $38 per direct labor hour. Um, so let's go ahead and see what this is going through and doing. So in 2025, Schultz manufactured 25,000 units of the Real in 10,000 units of the Majestic. The overhead rate of 38 per direct labor hour is determined by dividing the total estimated manufacturing overhead by the total direct labor hours. And so that's where they're getting like this 38 from. And when we go through, okay. So under traditional costing, the profit on the Royale was 552 and the Majestic was 590. Because of this difference, management is considered phasing out the Royale model and increasing the production of the Majestic model. But before finalizing this decision, management wants to control, prepare an analysis using ABC. The controller accumulates the following information about this. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is actually kind of fun because it's actually, we don't have to do the single plant wide. All right, so over here, we're going to kind of put this down over here now. So this is single plant wide. And remember, we're doing this under activity based costing. That's what we're, our analysis is. When we're going through and doing this under activity based costing, the sales price is not changing. The direct materials are not changing. The direct labor is not changing. It's all going to be the same with the exception of these numbers here. So let's go through and take a look in terms of how this is done. So we've got over here our uh, pool. Okay, so here's the cost pools. Okay. So this is 1.2 million, 900,000, 4.8 million, and 700,000. These four numbers have to equal up to 7.6 million. Okay, so over here, our driver is orders, setups, machine hours, and then inspections. So over here, it's basically 40,000, 18,000, 120,000, and 28,000. 
Now, although this question is already doing this for you, I don't really like it because I'm not, if you are my student, I would make you figure it out. So over here, the rate So this is gonna be 1.2 divided by 40, 900 divided by 18, 4.8 divided by 120, and then 700 divided by 28,000. As you can kind of see over here, it's the same, we're getting to the same results. And then over here, now we need to go through and say Royale driver. This will be the Royale allocation. Let me add the Majestic. Majestic with a J. Yeah, that. And this will be my, my, my Majestic allocation. So, how do we go through and do this? Let's go through and have some fun. So right over here, we've got the Royale driver is for the purchase orders. This is 17,000, 5,000 machine setups, uh, 75,000 machine hours, and then inspections are gonna be 11,000. So my allocation is gonna be the rate per driver times the amount. Right, so again, where are these numbers coming from? Right, this is gonna be 30 times 17,000. This is gonna be 50 times 5,000. This is gonna be 40 times 75,000. And then this is gonna be 25 times 11,000. Okay, when I go through and I add these up, My total overhead being allocated to the Royale is 4,035,000. For the Majestic, this is gonna be 40,000, excuse me, not 40,000, 23,000, 13,000, 45 and 17. So my allocation is going to be the rate per driver times this amount here. So when I add these two up, it needs to equal 7.6 million, which it does. However, when we're looking at this, this is the total overhead that is being allocated, right? The problem with this, so this is my total Royale allocation. My total Majestic allocation. If we go down here and look at this, right? These are all in per unit, right? So what I need to go through and do is to figure out, well, how many units did I produce of each? So we produced 25,000 of the Royale and 10,000 on the Majestic. So my rate per uh, majestic and then over here for the royale 25,000 units so my overhead rate per unit This is 3,565. This was 4,035. Okay. So we've got our overhead rates per unit. 
let's go ahead and put these down into our formulas over here. So for the Majestic, for the Royale, it's 161.40. For the Majestic, it's going to be 356.50. So my total cost per unit is going to be 981 and then 877. So my gross profit per unit is actually going to be very different under um, activity-based costing, which kind of goes to the point, which is why we want to make sure that before we're going to do a discontinuation that these overheads, because again, what's the only thing that's changed here? It's the amount that we're going through and allocating our overhead. Is activity-based costing going to be more detailed? The answer is absolutely yes. And when it makes a difference, uh, this is something that you want to kind of keep in mind as you're kind of going through and doing this. So right over here, let's take a look. So assign the manufacturing overhead and what is the cost per unit using Royale is 981.40. Okay, our management's future plans for the two models sound. The answer is absolutely not. If you kill the Royale, you're going to be in trouble. So, but again, that's why looking at numbers is so important to be going through and doing. I did this question really quickly, and it's actually the last in the series that I went through and did, but I like this question just because it's actually giving you the sales price. And it has you kind of go here and focus on the gross profit. The other questions that I've just gone through and I've done don't have that same kind of background. So that's kind of why I like this a little bit better. But in any event, I want to thank Wiley again for allowing me to go through and to make these solutions for you. If there's anything else you're kind of looking for, feel free to ask me in the comments below. I look forward to seeing you on the next video and have a great day.